Hello again, I'm here in Waterloo, Ontario at head office of Arise Technologies and I'm meeting with the President and CEO, Chief Executive Officer of Arise Technologies, which is the main Solar 101 technical partnership that we have. And I'd like to introduce you to Mr. Vern Heinrichs, Chief Executive Officer of Arise Technologies. Hi Vern. Thank you, Paul. Yeah, Thank you're very you. welcome. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say that we are very proud to be the technology partner in Solar 101. We think this is a, a very exciting program. And uh, with that also, I'd like to thank the people that really helped make it happen, our governments. And uh, maybe the rest of you don't know, but the government's involved in every level of the solar industry. Paul, this is an amazing industry where, whether it's building buildings, whether it's the installations on your roof, uh, helping with research, they're, they're there with us, they're supporting the industry, and we're very proud in Ontario to have such a forward-looking government. Terrific, good. I, I echo that same sentiment. So to begin, let's ask Vern about the history of Arise Technologies, its roots, and how it got to be where it is, what I call a real Canadian success story. Arise is, in one way, a small company uh, compared to some of the large global enterprises in solar. But we have been here a long time, one of the oldest uh, solar companies in Canada. And in Ontario, uh, we've been active, particularly in installing on rooftops, uh, for about 10 years. So that's, that's a long time to be in the business. And uh, because this is a very young industry, uh, we have fortunately found uh, great partners in Germany as well. And the German government has, again, been very supportive. We have a large factory in Germany that makes the cells. And later on, you'll be visiting with um, Dr. Dold, our scientists, and he will be showing you the cells and how they're made and uh, you know what, what eventually goes into that. Mm -hmm. But uh, so we make those cells in Germany and we ship them uh, worldwide. Uh, Europe is our biggest market, and Europe has been the biggest market for solar all along. Uh, but then we're also shipping into Ontario, thanks mm -hmm. to the feed-in tariff that's coming here. Mm -hmm. Tell us a bit more about who works here at Arise Technologies. How many employees do you, do you have? Altogether, we have about 200 employees. About 200 employees. And they have a factory in Germany, and you're manufacturing product that gets shipped around the world, and then some of it gets shipped back to Ontario? Yeah, for example, our raw material that goes into making the cell uh, a big percentage of it comes from China. We have some cells that we ship to India who made it into modules for us and they're in our warehouse here and we're using them in some of our Ontario installations. Uh, then we're ship we will be shipping some cells directly to Ontario for Ontario made modules. So this industry uh, is about the sun and it's about, about the globe. Yes, yes it is. You know. So you're shipping worldwide. You're a global company located in Waterloo, right? Now, you're not just installing these, but you've started with the silica. Like, do you grow silica from the onset, or, or what is well, the basic element? Uh, we have, the basic element in this is the most common element on the face of the earth, which is silicon. You, you find it in a handful of dirt. But some places in Canada have very large deposits. And silicon is used very extensively mm -hmm. in metallurgical uses. But it's also what's used in your computer. The little chip is a silicon chip. So what, what our six by six inch cell is, is a very large chip. Oh, I see. It isn't quite as pure as that, but it is, um, it, it's the same material. Right. For many years, the stuff that wasn't quite good enough for computer, computers, which was on there, trash pile right. was the raw feedstock for the solar industry. Oh, I see. Solar industry has grown much more rapidly, so now there's a whole new industry making right. it just for solar. Right, right. So one but, person's waste is one person's gold? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> terrific, terrific. Okay, tell us a little bit about how you see the Solar 101 program, these systems being installed in 11 schools from Windsor to Kenora across Ontario. How is that going to affect your market here in Ontario and help it develop? Well, I think that for every child that learns about solar, they become a missionary going home to their parents and saying, why don't we have it on our roof? They speak to the businesses in the community. 
and the leaders are usually involved as trustees, they're usually involved as leaders in the community. If they're interested in the school, they'll also be able to be there. And uh, we're able to install throughout the province with the team that we have. And wherever you go, we've got somebody that will do that for you. Mm -hmm. And so that's very exciting. But I think the other side of it is, these children are learning about something that is in one way so ordinary, but another way just overwhelmingly exciting. When you think of our kids, uh, we think of where they will be. In our company, we've got graduates from high school, we've got graduates from community colleges, from uh, universities, we have term students here from the universities on their work terms, but we also have the MBAs and the business side, we also have the PhDs, and Peter Dole is a doctor in mm -hmm. science that you'll be meeting, uh, and in conjunction with the universities in here, in Germany we have PhDs on our staff, on the flo plant floor, checking quality, working on the quality, etc. So that we, are, we are looking forward to finding people that are better trained for this. It's a very young industry. We're having to train everybody from scratch. Do you have labs and? Uh, uh co-op programs or something with, uh, in Ontario? Tell We're us about We're very that. pleased to be associated with the University of Toronto where we have extensive lab partners, scientists there. At uh, McMaster University, uh, again, a significant program that's funded with the government. And then the last one, of course, is our local water, University of Waterloo. Oh, terrific, so, terrific. Uh, so we're, we're deeply involved with academia. You're just a few blocks away from Rim Park, the uh, research in motion folks, right? Yes. So this is quite a high-tech part of Ontario here. This, this is it. Yeah. And yeah. interestingly, where we are in Germany is considered the high-tech part for solar. Oh, terrific. It's outside, terrific. outside of Dresden in Saxony. Oh. They, they call it Saxony Valley. Okay, mm -hmm. wonderful, wonderful. Now here's a burning question that a lot of people are asking about Arise Technologies. With your success in your factory in Germany and now with the market finally opening up in Ontario and across North America, when can we see a factory here in Ontario to supply our market? Well, we expect a factory that will be working, that will be creating silicon for our, for our wafers within the next year. So and it, it, there, we already have the factory, but we, there's a lot of stuff that has to go in to make it work. Sure. So that's, that's part of the Ontario. So in Ontario, we'll be continuing to install systems on schools, on homes, on factories, on fields, and we will be making silicon. Terrific. So that, that's exciting for us. Yes, absolutely. Most excellent. Well, that's terrific. Thanks very much, Vernon. I'm really happy and proud to be here at Arise Technologies, and we look forward to a long-lasting relationship. Thank you.